Officials in Brazil face new corruption allegations over this summer's Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. Reuters reports prosecutors are investigating possible wrongdoing in the building of Olympic venues and issuing of contracts. And with all that controversy going on, Team USA's athletes are in the home stretch of training for the Games. Ben Tracy spoke to hopefuls at the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Ben, good morning. Nora, good morning. You know, most of the athletes here at the training center will simply tell you they are focused on their events. But of course, there are growing concerns in Rio. You have everything from crime to polluted water where some of these competitions will take place. And then, of course, there is the Zika virus. Some Olympic hopefuls are still fighting for a spot on Team USA. Nice. But at the U.S. Olympic Training Center, there is no shortage of excitement or confidence. It's an amazing feeling knowing that we're going together to the Olympics and ready to kill it. This marathon runner is training in a room that simulates the low altitude and high temperature environment of Rio. They're very focused. Alan Ashley is chief of sport performance for the U.S. Olympic Committee. He knows the weather in Rio is not the biggest problem. The water in Rio, where some of the triathletes will be, has been called the equivalent of raw sewage. How concerned are you? Well, it is uh, something that is always on our mind, and we're making sure that we you know, do everything we can to keep our, our uh, team safe and, and healthy. Um, I have to say the athletes are fired up about competing down there. Nobody here wants to say a bad word about Rio, even when it comes to the Zika virus, which we now know can cause severe birth defects. Personally, are you at all concerned? Um, I'm not. Not. But other athletes aren't so sure. Members of the U.S. women's soccer team express concern about the virus, and Irish golfer Rory McIlroy told the BBC this week there is a chance he may skip the games. There are also concerns in Brazil, which is in the midst of its worst recession since the 1930s. A former Brazilian soccer star says violence in Rio has gotten so bad, tourists should just stay home. Rio's Secretary of Security is calling on the military to help patrol the streets. Meanwhile, Brazil's president is facing an impeachment trial. The Olympic venues are mostly finished, and ticket sales are picking up. But Brazilian officials are now investigating allegations of corruption. And then there's this, a section of a new waterfront bike path built to showcase the lasting legacy of the Games recently collapsed, killing two people. Can you look at an athlete and say they have nothing to worry about? No one can ever say, you know, you can protect against everything. Instead, what you want to do is you want to make sure they have all the information so that they as individuals can make decisions. <laughs> Now, it's worth noting that there were big concerns ahead of the Beijing Olympics about air pollution and ahead of the Sochi Winter Games about a lack of snow, and both of those games turned out okay. But the Zika virus does seem to be unique. You have 500,000 people who are planning to travel to Brazil this summer, and medical experts are calling that a public health nightmare. Gail. There are lots of questions and concerns. Thank you, Ben.